Hi guys, what's up? And welcome to Undertale. Let's -a go. Okay. Do I have stored my items? I do. Well. Wow. Alright. Alright, now we should get the call. And we head back this way. And that would be good. Do -do -do. Wait, what am I doing? I can tell the elevator. Whee. I like how the text doesn't appear like we're saying about the determination anymore. It doesn't appear. What am I doing? Okay. Now I can do what I wanted to do on episode 8, I think it is. 8 or 9, I can't remember. No, wait, 9 is the one where I beat uh, Asgore. Yeah, I think it's number 8. Oh well. I should get the call on the bridge. Which is what I'm hoping if it, do it should do. Yes! Hey, uh, this is Undyne. Shut up, Papyrus. This was your idea. Human! You have to deliver something for me. Uh, please. I'm at Snowden in front of Papyrus's. See ya, punk! Kick. Alright, now I gotta teleport. Yeah. Okay, that's what I wanted. And now I have my auto backup running, so I don't actually have to end the video now. It's automatically backing up that file every single 10 minutes. Yay. You know, like, where you saw the bits cut out? That's usually where I... I had to, you know, and I'm forgetting where everything is because I haven't played this in the last two days. Please select location. Left floor one. Those with determination. I still can't get in there, can I? There's no response. Alright, let's go to Snowden. Tra la la. Care for a ride? Right in the boat. Yes. Where will we go today? Snowden. And we are off. Also, here comes the cat. Let's play the neon cat theme. Tra la la. Uh oh, suddenly feeling tropical. Why? What the hell nonsense did this guy come out with? I've seen some really, really weird ones that he said. Come again sometime, try la la. Like, I, ha I have to admit, I have spoiled this game somewhat to myself. I have to admit that. But I haven't spoiled any of the boss battles or anything much. Other than what to realistically do, and I'm going the wrong way to papyruses, I know that. <laughs> I've only spoiled basically a few of the boss battles. Uh, what to do, I mean, in them. But not like. Damn, Papyrus, overdo your mail. Hey, I have something to give you. But you are carrying two. Wait, no! Read the Glamberg, your HP was maxed out. Um, so, I have a favor to ask you. Uh, I, I need you to deliver this letter to Dr. Elphis. Huh? Why don't I do it myself? That face. Oh. W well, it's kind of personal, but we are friends, so I'll tell you later. Hotland sucks. I don't want to have to go over there. So, there you so here you go. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much. You are the best. Alright, let's read it. No, no, I'm joking. <laughs> personal as personal. You only tell I'd ever have to read it if the game actually wants you to read it, which... Try to uh, care for a ride? Ride in the boat. Yes. Where will we go today? Hotland. And we are off. I'm surprised this guy don't have fare, but oh well. 
Wee. He's not gonna say one of his weird things, is he? Tra la la. Kemi Village now. The room before the darkening lantern room. Tra la la. <laughs> tra la la. 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 Okay. Come again sometime. Tra la la. Tra la la. La la. Tra la la. Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this, we're filled with determination. The door has no mail slot. Slide the letter under. You slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. Oh, no. Is that another letter? I don't want to open it. Can't I just slide it back out? No, no. I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um... It's sh kind of strongly, isn't it? What? Wait a second. Hey, is this is a joke? It's. Oh my God! Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have. Oh my God! Oh no! That's adorable. And I had no idea you um, wrote that way. It's surprisingly too, after all the gross stuff I did. I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less, um, this. And so passionate too. Oh, fuck's sake. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. What? It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, Dating start. <laughs> Question mark? Uh, sorry. I'm still getting dressed. What the fuck? How do I look? My friends helped me pick this out. She's got a great sense of... Um, anyway. Let's do this thing. Dating. Start. Hey, wait. Actually, we still can't start the date yet. Dating. Start! Um, I gotta give you items to raise your affection and status first. That'll increase the chance of success outcome to the date, right? Anyway, don't worry. I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. First, I've got... It's all for Undyne, isn't it? Some metal armor polish. Um, maybe you can't use that, but I also brought some waterproof cream for st your scales. Your, um, scales? Uh, well, how about this magical spear repair kit that I, um, hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the date. Dating, start! Yeah, let's, uh, date. She's getting nervous. Uh, do you like anime? Hey, me too. Hey, let's go somewhere. But where's a good place to go on a date? I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. <laughs> yeah, let's be garbage. Here we are. This is where Undyne and I came all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. <laughs> She's really, uh... Oh no. That's her over there. I can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because, uh, well... Oh no. Here she comes. Hey, there you are. I, uh, really like... Is she dressed? If you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Uh, you don't have it. Nah. Have you at least seen her? Yeah. Yes. So she's somewhere around here. Thanks, I'll keep looking. Oh my god. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? 
Uh, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. I just figured, you know, it would be fun to go on a, like, a cute kind of pretend date with you to make you feel better. Well, it sounds even worse than I put it like that. I'm sorry, I messed up again. Undyne's the person I uh, really want to go on a date with. But I mean, she's way out of my league. Not that you aren't, um, cool. But Undyne, she's so confident and strong and funny. And I'm just a nobody. Oh, I fraud. No, you're not. I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lies, she thinks I'm... She thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll... She'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? Tell her the truth! The truth? But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? No. Or a truth where neither of us are. They say, be yourself. But I don't really like who myself is. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. No. If people like you that way, then you're not really liking yourself. You're liking someone else's life. Why would you want to be like someone else's life? You don't know. Their opinion of like might be a bad sort of personal way. You don't know. <laughs> if you got that, then you just... No, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared? What will happen if people learn the truth on their own? They all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undyne the truth? I don't have the confidence. I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? That's roleplay. Uh, roleplay? That actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, which one will us be Undyne? I'll be Undyne. Oh right, obviously. <laughs> Um, hi Undyne, how are you doing today? I'm fine. Haha, <laughs> glad to hear it. Uh, so I'd like to, uh, talk to you about something? What is it, Elphys? Uh, you see, I, 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 I haven't been exactly truthful with you. You see, I, I, oh, forget it. Undyne, I... I want to tell you how much, how, oh, uh, you, <laughs> I, oh, fuck, sorry, I can't even read this, it's making me giggle. I'm sorry, but this, it's just, uh, it's, it's so sad, it's hard to talk, and I just noticed there's a dog up in the corner there by the TV. You were so brave and strong and nice, you always listen to me when I talk about nerdy stuff, you always do your best to make me feel special, like telling me that you beat up anyone that gets in my way. Undyne, I can't take this any longer. Oh God, I'm madly in love with you. Hold me, Undyne, hold me. <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> oh. uh, Undyne, I was just, hey, whoa. Wait a second, your outfit's really cute, what's the occasion? Wait a second, are you two on a date? Uh, yes, I mean, uh, no, I mean, we were, but, I mean, actually, we were only romantically role-playing as you. What? I mean, I mean, Undyne, I, I've been lying to you. What? About what? about, well, everything. I told you that seaweed... I really just want to make an ice cream and those human history books I read, they're just dorky comic books and the history movies, those... those are just, uh, anime. They aren't real. And that time I told you I was busy... I can't read it because it's taking it too fast! Elphys. I... I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool. That I wasn't some nerdy loser. Alphys. And I... I really think you are neat, okay? Alphys. Aww. Shh. Shh. What? Alphys. 
I I think you're really neat too, I guess. But you've got to realize, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you are watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all of that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you are passionate. You are analytical. It doesn't matter what it is you care about it. 100% at maximum power. So you don't have to lie to me. But why do you check her in a bin? I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. Alphys, I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know just the training you need to do that. Yeah, it's called bin style. Oh, undying you. You're gonna train me? Oh, blushing! What, me? <laughs> now I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it. <laughs> get those bones shaken! It's time to jog 100 laps, hooting about how great we are! Ready? I'm about to start the timer. Uh, Undying? I'll do my best. <laughs> oh my god. She was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics, those are still real, right? Enemies real, right? Ha ha ha! I knew it. Gigantic swords, magical princesses, here I come. Uh, thanks for taking care of Alphys. I didn't get to say what I wanted to you, but things seemed like they were going to get better for her. Well, I gotta go catch up with them. Later! Oh, I'm actually in the dump as well. <laughs> Doing everything. Oh, yeah, let's see. Partaking in the worthless garbage fills you with determination. Oh, it does, and now I have a long way to go. Alright, I've got to go to Hotland, I believe. Do -do 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 -do. Actually, I didn't see what this does. I haven't clicked on this. You rest your hand on the rusted bike. Its horn wheezes a honk of respect. That's the sound that... Didn't need to come up with any other sounds on that. A beat-up desktop computer. The inside is empty. Hmm. Oh, yeah. No, because I already took one. Into DVD case for an anime. Desperate claw marks cover the edges. That's from Alphys. Howdy. If it isn't my good friend who trusts me, this is Papyrus. Your also mutual friend. Alphys and I finished our training early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. Um, now, I feel strongly and for no apparent reason, you should also go there. To her lab house. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. Okay, so let's quickly go to our home. You feel a calming tranquility. You are filled with determination. Yay. Yay. Let's go. Try la la. Care for a ride? Ride in the boat. Yes. Where will we go today? We'll be going to Hotland. And we are off. Ta la la. Um, I notice I'm probably a lot more calmer than I am in the other ones. Ta la la. Tell me, village. The room before the darkling lantern room. Ta la la. Probably because I'm actually excited to play this one. The um, actual story. Come again sometime. Tra la la. Alright, can I enter? Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this, food you with determination! I want determination. <laughs> Give me that. Alright, let's go. I'm insane. Eee. Let's see. Eee. Eee. What's up? Eee. It's a beat of figuring of a female human with cat ears. Oh, I can go in there now. What's this? It's a note from Alphys. Read it. Read. Yes, that's the true lab down there, if I believe. It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey, thanks for your help back there. 
you guys. Your support really means a lot to me. But as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine. If you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, enter the door to the north of this note. You will at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. Is that name of a book or a movie? I can't remember. Apparently, if you call Papyrus, ring, 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 what? You're in her room? Get out of there, unless um, she's invited you. No way, that did not happen. What the fuck? You should be able to ring him and then fly across the room. How do people do it? Wow. Did he patch it? He patched it, didn't he? Looked like Metaton is undergoing repairs. I think he patched it. Because you used to be able to just slide across here reading a message. Excellent sounds. Alright, let's go into the untrue lab. That's not the untrue lab. That's the untrue lab. Get in there. I've seen this bit on um, Jacksepticeye's channel. Oh god. Elevator losing power. EM territory stability lost. Altitude dropping. Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Ooh. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by the soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So, to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. Entry number three. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster soul last. Entry number five. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I have extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living, the resolve to change fate. Let's call this power determination. Oh. My soul power is determination. My soul is determination. That's freaking creepy. Now I see uh, this music. I heard this on the soundtrack. It's called True Lab. I think. Hmm. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it out at all. Elevator. Lost power. Enter the center door. That's all you could read. Power room. I like the music though. Okay, let's go left. Entry number six. Let's go ask everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They are still comatose and soon they will all turn into dust. But what happens if I inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, then freedom might be closer than we all thought. Entry number 9. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get the souls. 
I turned the family, I've told the families that I would give them the dust back for their fu for the funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? Oh. Oh, I thought that was a door. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it out at all. Drain, drop it. That's all you could read. He turned the sink on. He turned on the sink. He turned on the sink. Oh, what the hell is that? Is that milk? Oh god, it's a ghost. Drew near, act. A. You take out your cell phone. You can hear voices through the receiver. Come and join the fun. Oh god. Oh, fuck! I hate this. Ow, fuck you. Memory head. Join. Just a moment. Come join the fun. It's a real get together. Do I have to join them all? Uh, stay down here. It's safer. Ow, oh, fuck. No, it's not safer. Can I? No. Refuse. Be, be seeing you. Oh! I have to refuse! You won, you won zero. I didn't get any gold, nothing! Oh! There's a red key lying in the sink. You took it and put it on your keychain. Is that what I need here? Because it's red. Yay! Click the red key fits perfectly into the slot. Yay! Okay, ah oh, yeah, I see. I gotta get more keys. Better save. Better save. Better save. Alright. Entry number 12. Nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. Entry number 13. One of the bodies opened its eyes. Oh. It's an empty dog food bowl. Why is it a dog food? Seems like a comfortable bed. Lie on it. Oh fuck no, I ain't lying on it. It's a bed. It's a bed. There's something underneath the sheets. Ooh. Check it out. This Oh, is that a key? Yellow key. Oh, thank. I thought there was going to be a ghost. It's a bed. Is there anything else under this? It's a bed. It's a bed. It's a bed. It's a bed. Okay, so there's nothing under this. I got one key. Entry number 15. Seems like this research was a dead end. But at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls back to Asgore, returned the vessel to his garden, and I called all of the families and told them everyone's alive. I sent everyone back tomorrow. Happy face. Entry number 16. No, 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 no. Oh. That didn't seem good. Do I go for it? This is as fast as I can go. I thought I was, I was actually slowing down on my feet. Mm. Oh. There's a green key lying in the bathtub. You took it and put it on your keychain. What on earth is that? Wait. That. Fucking knew it. That save looked inconspicuous to be there. Smells like sweet lemons. Um. All right. She looks like she's got hum. You hum a familiar tune. Lemon bread's body shapes. Oh, welcome to my special hell. 
Ah! Oh, hey, hey. Oh, that's cool. Flex. You flexed your arm. Lemon bread muscle shake. But nobody came. That's creepy. Oh, God. Ah, that's cool. Uh, unhug. You let lemon bread be. Lemon bread seems to remember something. I felt this before. Oh shit. Ah, you fuck it. Oh. I'm not gonna make it. Yes! Okay. Flam burger. Thank you. Alright, what's up here? Oh. Hey, I got the yellow key. Click. The yellow key fits in perfectly. Okay, what's this? There's a VHS player with a few tapes picked out beside it. There seems to be a label in a specific order. Will you watch one? Tape one. Psst. Gory. Wake up. Who's Gory? Hmm? What is it, dear? Uh, and why do you have that video camera? Shh. I want to get your reaction. Gory. Dearest, what is my favorite vegetable? Um, carrots, right? No, no, no. My favorite vegetable is edamame. Get it? Go back to bed, dear. No, no, not yet. Hehe. <laughs> now, if I were a dog, what breed of dog would I be? Hmm, I don't know. Honey, what kind of dog would you be? I would be a Pomeranian. <laughs> ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas. You sure are excited to have this child? You know, if you keep making jokes like this, one day you could be a famous Pomeranian. Well, I'm going to bed. Hey. Come on, Tori. Tori and Asgore! Now I got it. That was... That one was funny. Haha, ha, I know. I'm just teasing you. Good night, dear. Good night, honey. Oh, dear. Perhaps it is too dark in here for the video to come out. That's why there's no video! Okay, Chris. Are you ready? What? Do you do your creepy face? Ah, uh, he he he. Oh, wait. I had the lens caps on. What? You're not gonna do it again? Come on, quit tricking me, haha. That involved me. Howdy, Chris. Smile for the camera. Haha. <laughs> this time I got you. I left the cap on on purpose. Now you're smiling for no reason, hee <laughs> hee. What? Oh, yeah. I remember. When we tried to make butterscotch pie for Dad, right? The recipe asked for cups of butter. But we accidentally put butter cups instead. Yeah. Those flowers got him really sick. I felt so bad. We made Mum really upset. I should have laughed it off like you did. Um, anyway. Where are you going with this? Uh, turn off the camera? Okay. Is that Chara and Asriel? I... I don't like this idea, Chris. What? what? No, no, I'm not. Big kids don't cry. Yeah, you are right. No, I'd never doubt you, Chris. Never. Y yeah, we'll be strong. We'll free everyone. I will get the flowers. Chris, can you hear me? We want you to wake up. Oh, Chris, you have to stay determined. You can't give up. You are the future of humans and monsters. Psst, Chris, please, wake up. I don't like this plan anymore. I, I, no, I said, I said I'd never doubt you. 
six, right? We just have to get six. And we'll do it together, right? That's... Car they're actually meaning Kara, but for some reason they're saying me. Entry number four. I've been researching humans to see if I can find any info about their souls. I ended up snooping around the castle and found these weird tapes. I don't feel like Asgore watched them. I don't think he should. Oh right, yeah, yeah, because I'm naming the fallen hero, which is actually called Kara, but I get to name it whoever it is. And such and such when it's actually Kara. Yeah, I get it. DT extraction machine status inactive. You better stay freaking inactive, it looks creepy as fuck. Oh, can't see. There's something here. It feels like a tree. Ripe and delicious fruit. Oh, fuck no. What? What? Creaking fits in perfectly. There's a note on the ground. You can make it out at all. Curtain. That's all you can read. Are those clues? How the fuck did I find that? I'm just walking up and down, left and right. Uh, how do I get back? No, I ain't clicking on anything. I'm getting out of here. Yay. That was luck. Alright. What's the other way? Alright, it's got about five or two minutes. Ten, five or ten minutes, sorry. Oh. Entry number 11. Now that Metaton made it big, he never talks to me anymore. Except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. This is creepy. Oh, does that clean the other room? Press it. Yes. Uh oh. Oh. No. Go to it. It's the argument. Beckon? You call Algo um, uh, yeah. It bounds towards you, flexing a strange liquid from the orange face. Oh! Oh, God! Pet! You pet the Algomet. It convulses you rapidly, then calms down. It rests quietly on your lap for a moment. Suddenly... It's turning... Oh, it's legs! Look at its legs! He shoots away and crawls wildly on the wall. Oh god! Ah! Ah! Ow! Fuck off! Go away! Play? You throw your weapon into a corner of the room. The helmet brings it back to you and pr proudly and repeats this process a few times. The helmet is very tired, it leans dripping ominous. A amorphous body on you. Fuck's sake. Oh, it's this one. Yeah, I can touch this one. No hard. <laughs> God damn it! Pet? You pet the arm it. It starts to generate a strange... A happiness forth. Ah, fuck! I'm not fast enough! Dodge it! Dodge it! Dodge it! Pet! You pet decisively. The argument seems to be satisfied with all this. Oh. Oh my god, that is sad. A whole bunch of animals in one. Okay, let's re enter that room because I think I might have missed something. Now that I can see. I've in that room by luck. Fuck! Oh, 
Okay. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. It's a refrigerator. It seems to contain samples of some Oh, that's shaking. I ain't touching that one. Entry number 19. The families keep calling me to ask when everyone is coming home. And am I supposed to say? I don't even answer the phone anymore. Entry number 20. Asgore left me five messages today. Four about everyone being angry. One about this cute teacup he found that looks like me. Thanks, Asgore. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. It's freaking moving! Entry number 21. 21. I spend all my time at the garbage dump now. It's my element. It's a refrigerator. It seems to contain samples of some kind. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. Okay. Oh. It's so cold. Laugh? You laugh. And keep laughing. It's so funny, you can't stop. Tears run down your face. What? You didn't do that? Snowy. Heckle? You said something like, you look horrible, why are you even alive? What? You didn't say that? Snowy. Joke? You told a bad pun about snow. Her expression starts to shift. Ha ha. I remember. Okay, I got a joke. You told a bad pun about snow. Her expression changes more. Ha ha. Thank you. I like how this one doesn't hit me. Joke. You told a bad pun about snow. She's completely calmed down. You won. Oh. Oh, I got a key. You found a blue key on the ground. You put it on your keychain. Oh yeah, yeah, screen switch. Okay, so I think I've got more switches. I don't like how that one moves. I would have thought the moving one would be the one with the enemy. I read that one, didn't I? I hope. Oh, what's this way? Oh, screen key. I've already read that. So where have I missed? I've been up that one. That was the one to care. And I've been the other way. That was to turn off the fan. Okay, did I miss another way? Yeah, I did. Might as well save here. Okay. I hope you guys have enjoyed this first part of Undertale exploration of the true lad so far. I hope you guys will see the next part and I hope you enjoy. Bye bye.